the Eastern Security Network operatives have warned the Southeast leaders and stakeholders who are allegedly collecting money secretly from Fulani groups to desist from such. The Eastern Security Network operatives made the call while reportedly speaking from a forest in Enugu in a video in which they wore black shirts, red caps, and bore AK-47 rifles. They also displayed a placard showing some of the names of the Southeast leaders. They labeled as saboteurs. There were four masked officials in the video, with three of them carrying rifles, while the last member knelt on the ground. One of the Eastern Security Network men said, this is the Eastern Security Network in Enugu State, sounding a warning to all the saboteurs collecting money from the Fulani people to sell us out. We are warning you to desist from collecting money from the Fulanese and send them packing. If we find you again, we will come back. The Eastern Security Network officials went on to reel out names of the suspects, which included a local government chairman in the state accused of condoning the Fulani headsmen. The Eastern Security Network operatives brandished their AK-47 rifles about a week after President Muhammad Buhari directed security agencies to shoot anyone seen with AK-47. The presidential spokesperson, Malam Garba Shehu, had disclosed this in an interview that the president directed a clampdown on bandits and criminals who refused to surrender. The president has ordered security forces to go into the bushes and shoot whoever they see with sophisticated weapons like the AK-47, he said. He, however, ordered that whoever is seen with terrible weapons at all should be shot immediately, Garabashehu had said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this latest information that is filling out? The Eastern Security Network members in Enugu State precisely has come out to allege that some of the leaders in the Southeast are collecting money from Fulani headsmen and are also selling them out, as the case may be. The issue is this. Or why would the, some Southeast leaders be collecting money? It is not right if we are, if we just to say the truth. You know, they said that some of these guys, these Southeast leaders, secretly collect money from the Fulanese. To do what? On what grounds? To give them lands or sell lands to them? This is unfortunate, if you'd ask me. And these are some of the reasons why you see that the Fulani headsmen sometimes. Uh, resist instructions or uh, directives when they are asked to either leave a particular place because they know they have traded money and uh, the, the money cannot just go like that. Well, it is what it is. The question is to what end would the Southeast leaders be collecting money from Fulanese and be selling themselves and selling their kinsmen to what end exactly are they doing that or carrying out such activities it is sad and unfortunate and it shouldn't be that should not be seen heard or condoned among the people of the southeast if truly they want the fulani headsmen to leave and they want to read the south the southeast of fulani headsmen then they shouldn't tolerate accept condone any such uh, actions or activities because it will spell doom and it is going to be very very dangerous it is sad and unfortunate such activities does not have a place in this society as it is the Fulani headsmen should leave if that is what the Southeast are saying in uh, unism then they should leave if that is what they want they should leave 
You cannot be collecting money from these Fulani headsmen and at the same time asking them to leave your land when you have collected their money. That would be injustice and unfair. So the Southeast leaders must be careful. They also need to be careful. Well, it is what it is. Nambikano and the Eastern Security Network are still very much available in the Southeast. Hopefully, we might not be hearing any more of uh, cases of um, attacks, as the case may be, as a result of the Olu incident that happened where the military was deployed to go into the bushes of Olu to flush out the members of the Eastern Security Network, as it were, and eventually it turned into a serious uh, war and uh, clashes between both parties. And, you know, innocent civilians were killed. And up until now, the city of Olu is yet to recover from the activities or from the dangerous um, incidents that happened or uh, took place in uh, Olu zone. But be that as it were, you know, some of these Southeast leaders, to a very large extent, some monarchs, as it were, have been in the past fingered as collecting money and also... Um, selling or leasing the land to Fulani headsmen. Some even go to the extent of collecting cows from the Fulani headsmen. All these activities, attitudes, and, uh, you know, threats would be, we should stop. Because if they continue it with it, to a very large extent, it is going to, um, it is going to cause serious challenges for the entire southeastern people not just the people who collected the money but the southeastern people as it were and innocent people would eventually suffer for such greed and um, selfishness that they have exhibited so it is what it is the eastern security network has issued a warning and that they might be coming for such people we just hope and pray that we do not have such situation in our hands anytime soon because we know that there's going to be chaos and at this particular point in time, it is not what we need. What we need is total peace and tranquility in the southeastern part of the country. Well, guys, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.